I'm your host, Togahannes, and this is Sundays. On this episode of Sundays, we are celebrating National Winter Skin Relief Day. It's a long... Things are a little different. We'll be eating. Instead, we're having a self-care Sunday, and we've brought some of our favorite skincare products. But before we get into that, we are going to go around and let our uh, audience, I'm sorry, let our guests introduce themselves. If you want to say wh- you, who you are and what you brought with you today. What up, y'all? This is Fresh Face Grace, a.k.a. Grace <laughs> Aubrey, a.k.a. God's Grace. Yeah. Um, here to show you some of my favorite things when it comes to face care. Um, I actually brought a couple, but today, well, I just wanted to shout out this one. It's called The Ordinary. Um, mm-hmm. This is a great exfoliator. Like, it's red. You can only you can leave it on your face for like 10 minutes, but it makes your face so shiny and like great afterward. But today, today we are going to use this Beauty Bio Bright Eye Under Eye little like patch silicone. Yeah. That was okay. Good. Um, that helps with, you know, it just helps with the puffiness and the dark under eye. And mm-hmm. as the collagen with vitamin mask, I'm about to look like an avatar in a second. Oh, I this love it. I do. And it's great. Hey guys, I'm Paris Nicole. Yeah. Uh, the Paris underscore Nicole on Instagram today. I brought a peppermint mask. Mm, yeah. I'm watching you look and roll like a uh, Halloween <laughs> serial killer in a second. Ah. Is it green? It looks like it's going to be white. But it's oh, okay. a peppermint mask and it pulls in and it says yes. it's white mask. Mm. So here I've changed my diet and I've been working out a lot more heavier than I usually and my face has been breaking out more than it's ever in my entire life and mm. it's just been really weird for me because I've always had good skin so mm-hmm. I stopped I decided to stop eating cheese mm-hmm. down my diet and so far it's been almost four weeks and my skin good job up. It's so yes hard. yes okay. that's why I started clapping like yes Give it up, I'm sure. No, I think it's healthy. I think it's working because like we'll try. And then I have this um manuka honey and uh coho bun vitamin E face oil that I'm gonna put on after I take it. All right. My name is John A and I bought a couple of things. Uh number one for my skincare is I bought my ancestors with me. Yes. Right here. Water. Water. <laughs> and um I got a couple of products. So this one right oh. here is Lady J Organics. I use a bunch of her products. I started off with the almond oil, which is good for everything, hair, skin, all of that. But this one right here is lavender scented. So definitely good for the self-care relaxation um if you can see right there i kind of show you not the ash (laughs) not the close-up on the (laughs) ash (laughs) this is it yeah okay let me just show you you know oh going in a whole demonstration you know what i'm saying here they also have a private um, CBD collection, which is really mm-hmm. good for those who may have some everything from eczema to skin aches, you know, even that time of the month, rub a little on your, you know, belly if you're cramping. Um, Lady J Organics, y'all, check her out. But check this out. You see, see the difference? Mm-hmm. Wow, nice and moisturized. Yeah, right. Speaking of body butters, y'all, you probably have heard of the body butters. Hey. Yes. Hey. I have one. My favorite scent. This one right here is that peaches and cream. As you can see, it's literally my favorite. So, so wow. this is good self care. I know, right? For others, yeah. too, you know, when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. Um, a lot of, you know, it's good for when you. Yeah. Or you be like, good, 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 and you want to, you know, taste good, smell good, all that. Yeah, it's good for that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no. So, use it. Was- 
Um, <laughs> journey. <laughs> I, so I don't put too much on my face. I do like to do a nice serum every now and again. Um, and this one right here is a black woman owned brand, Ebony Noir. And this mm -hmm. is a rose infused face serum, vegan, cruelty free. Um, it's, it's, you know, hydrating. It's not greasy, so it feels more lighter. Uh, it's good for clearing up uh, acne, good for hydration, good for reducing signs of aging and um, psoriasis, all that, scars. So I think my hands might be too oily now. <laughs> yeah, well, you might have to spread it around. Are we going to do our face stuff together? Yeah, we can. Um, yeah, definitely. So I brought um, some, I brought a hydrating mask. It's a uh, Wander Beauty. It's called Staycations, and then I also brought some under eye by Skin Gen um, under eye pads, like patches or pads. So we can start. We can dig in, right? So National Winter Skin Relief Day is every January eighth, um, and the day is technically to bring awareness to, I guess, just how our skin needs uh, this time, especially during this time of year. It needs uh, some self care and some refreshing. So. That's kind of why I brought the hydrating mask. I love, I love it, Grace. You go in. You look beautiful, Grace. What I like about my little eye thing is that it brings like a little scooper. And so I don't have to dig my hand in there. I can just kind of scoop out the little eye patches that are kind of like just piled up on top of each other. Yeah, so I thought that was cool. And I but, like um, peppermint. Uh, peppermint. I love peppermint smell. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. therapy too. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, you know, therapy. There's so many healing properties when it comes to peppermint. It's stress. It helps mm -hmm. with stress. Peppermint, lavender, mm -hmm. eucalyptus is good for. Yes. Me. Don't get it in your eye. Oh right. yeah. Careful. I don't know. Like it burns, right? Yeah. Even Yo, just you ever use that Bronner's um peppermint? Yeah. Whatever that shit is, don't put that shit in your vagina. No. Oh my god, I do it all the time. I love it. Well, you gotta thing. dilute it. Let uh, me say yeah. that. Definitely yeah. dilute it. That's what don't I put use. it straight out the thing. I don't okay. recommend it, especially no. on your head if you're trying to use it as shampoo. Nah, one time I felt like my head was on fire from the yeah. peppermint. Oh, it helps your hair grow. Peppermint helps hair grow. Oh, I need to actually. I do use peppermint oil right here, but I didn't know Doc. You can use Dr. Bronner's for like even cleaning up your bathtub. Yeah, yeah. great. Really? You can yeah, brush your teeth you can with it. Anything. Shut, Shut up. up. You can. I, I would. To, I, would uh, I would. Yeah, I would never do it again. But you can. Not again. <laughs> you can do your laundry with it. It's all types of stuff. Oh, I broke my little thing here. What is an unorthodox uh, skincare product or routine that you've tried? So, un uh, like the Bronner soap that I probably wouldn't put um, in my teeth. But um, was there anything else that you tried in your face? I think one time I rubbed the blueberry. Uh, yeah. I heard it was good for your skin. I yeah. tried avocado. Yes. Mm -hmm avocado mask which i feel like is a waste because i love avocado it's like yeah me too it's too expensive too they're so. expensive yeah. you need to eat that <laughs> <laughs> i think when i was on tour and they bought us our avocados so i wasn't spending my own money so that's what uh, <laughs> the poor avocados they are different right wow. yeah that's crazy so, look, anything? anybody else a banana i feel like no Baking I've done soda. a banana. I've done like baking soda on like a pimple. Or not baking, baking soda. soda? I do toothpaste on pimples. Well, toothpaste. That's what it was. Well, toothpaste. I mean, toothpaste has baking soda, but toothpaste. On the pimple. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I definitely used to do toothpaste on a pimple. Word. I um. I feel crazy talking with this mask. <laughs> Why did I choose to do this so this is public? So I thought about doing the same, and then I was like, well, let me chill, because I got to talk a lot. So I'm going to try bad. to make it look cute. Yes, oh, I love it. Do the jaw. Uh -huh. the, chin, the chin, yes. Perfect. <laughs> um, I do know that people have put cum on their face yeah. okay. and kind of I rub that in. She's so like, Grayson, you about to give a testimony? No, no, no. Actually, this is kind of this, <laughs> there's there's this thing in the Philippines apparently, like a myth that if you have really bad acne, you take the blood of the first period of like somebody like 
someone's first period and you use that blood and you and you use that as a mask. Wow. That's gross. Wow. That's really gross. I would never, ever, ever try that. Ever. Right. I mean, some people do the whole baby's blood. Yeah, placenta and stuff. People do stuff yeah. like that. I understand placenta. Yeah. More than just period blood. But there was go ahead. I uh, know. <laughs> So there was this cream one time um, and I worked at this med spa. And um, if you read the ingredients, it was, you had to like really open the paperwork and look at it. Um, it was the foreskin oh. of babies. Oh no. Oh hell no. And this, yo, this skin, this skincare flies off the fucking charts. It's like $300 at that time, a bottle. Um, not very big, and it's kind of the thing where you press both buttons and two different formulas come out, and then you kind of mix it, mm. and then you put that on your face as a serum. Um, so before I knew what was in it, I had tried it. Yo, fire. I look amazing. <laughs> I had been using it for fucking, like, I, I want to say a week already. Like, I had no idea. Um, and yeah, when... I finally found out what it was. I was a little turned off by it, but. Oh, yeah. you know, there's a lot of um, products that have um, uh, beaver anus. Oh. A lot of things what? that has berry flavored. Um, oh. Who did, who thought, who figured you discovered that though? Who discovered that? Yeah. The beaver who anus? <laughs> yeah, where? Raspberry flavored candies and stuff. Ew, uh, beaver anus. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Like the, or the, you know, anus gland, something from. Uh, that's them. crazy. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. This thing, my face is. Woo! It's cooling, huh? That peppermint, huh? It's going. Yeah. Oh. When you said it was a peppermint thing, I was like, oh. Too. I smelled it from here when you said. Right. Well, I hope you guys can smell it. You know. I. I can. Wow, it was refreshing. Perfect for Does it burn your eye? It's a little. It's <laughs> beauty is pain, though. You ever heard that? Beauty is pain. It's a little. Yeah. And in emergency, what have you used as moisturizer? Vaseline. Baby lotion. Chapstick. Yeah, I was about to say chapstick. Definitely. Carmex. Fit. Yeah, word Carmex. Yeah. <laughs> Hair yeah. grease, that only, that only like solves the problem for like five minutes. <laughs> you gotta keep yeah. in the saliva. <laughs> it works. It works. I know this kid in middle school that used a loogie to like put in his hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. there's something about Mary or whatever that movie is. What? Yeah, I don't know. Loogie. Oh, you have some yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's hilarious. This oh must. my god. Did you know that holiday sweets damage proteins in the skin? So mm -hmm. it'll weaken its defense against sun damage. And I mean during the holidays, that's kind of all we do. So yeah, holiday sweets damage your skin. It makes sense. Holiday sweets? Yeah. Sugar sugars. Oh, they swallow um they damage the protein in the skin. And then windburn is real. So we apply sunscreen mm -hmm. after swimming. But did you know that we're actually supposed to wear sunscreen during like windy season too? I think. No. And did you know that the, you have to reapply it every two hours because the wind like eats the fucking sunscreen? No. I do put drier in the winter. Yeah. My lips and stuff get more dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sun and the winds is so horrible. Yes, definitely the um your lips. Um, imagine do you see the kids out there when they don't wear the chapstick, and you just lick your lips in the wind. Oh, and then it's a red ring around the yeah, <laughs> and it's dry. Oh my god, I be feeling bad because you know that hurts. Yes, I remember when that was me. Like, no, learn your lesson. Never lick your lips in the winds. My lips were actually dry and cracked before we started this Zoom. I had to Hello. <laughs> actually, y'all, speaking of lips, I just put this lip mask, 24 karat gold lip mask on. Okay. 
I'm looking real like a cute ass avatar right now. Oh, oh I love that. But it's great, yeah. And you just it's a mask. You just leave it off for like 10 minutes. I would wear your mask in public, Grace. I would I would actually rock. Right? Uh-uh. Not the blue one. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I would the gold lips, yeah, the gold lips. We could do away with it in LA. You, you could do anything you want. Here. Hey, yeah, I'm LA, New York. They don't care. I'm all trying to find a way to make mm -hmm. it. What's your most embarrassing ashy story? Um, for me, it was when I okay. I gotten better with this, but I used to not wear lotion if my legs weren't showing. Yo. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all not like uh, so, I had kind of like it like a full minute with without my legs showing to the point where like my legs actually started like cracking. Like remember those Uber Darn commercials where it'd be like a crack, <laughs> and then you put like so my legs did that, and um, I was in the middle. It was it was this was when I was a resident advisor. And we were doing this like trust building sort of exercise where we gave each other like hand massages. And it was this nice Avino lotion, right? And I'm mm. reading, I was like, let me use some of this for, for my legs. And I, was like, <laughs> I was just like, damn. Like, <laughs> and I broke it down. Like, I'm like, I really haven't put on lotion in a, it's been at least one whole season. Oh, shit. Uh, it was, yeah. So it was like, it took time. Like, it was. When you're at that point, you can't just put on lotion once. You got to keep, you know, it's going to take a couple of weeks probably to get it back to, like, being real skin again. So that was probably my Not real skin again. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I'm bad. You had to deep condition them, like. Yeah, fast. Yeah. I don't feel like I have, like, a terrible ashy. Ashy. Skin. But, as you know, light-skinned people, we could get away with, you know, mm -hmm. being a little ashy. Yeah. But <laughs> I went over to uh, my ex's house to do an audition. He was right. we That's what we're calling it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> it was an we're going to do an audition. <laughs> no, you find your That means it don't. was a self tape audition. Oh, I love that. Okay, yeah. making movies. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I had on these like Good. holy black jeans. <laughs> holy, he was like, Your knees need a little lotion. And I was just like, Damn, because I mean, I don't think about I wasn't thinking about it. And I looked down and I was ashy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> embarrassing for me, but yeah. it's not bad of a story. I'm sure, he's not, nah, yeah, I feel you. I feel like the same is, is for me that we forget to put lotion on our legs and I think I've just I don't know if it was so much so embarrassing but it's happened to me in front of doctors it's happened to me in front of I don't know like especially if I'm going and changing um what is this a fitting room and the people want to come and help you like don't look at my knees do not look at my legs I'm very ashy right now look away <laughs> no, but, yeah for real I don't think it's embarrassed. Go ahead. Dry skin. The only time I had dry skin that I was embarrassed about was the bottom of my feet, my heels. Mm. I was I was cuddling up next to this, to this man, and the guy my that. rubbed on to him, and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> What the fuck? I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I need to <laughs> Damn. I am so sorry. Oh, feet. Dry feet be the be the most embarrassing. Yeah. Dry feet. I'm like. Ugh. Yes. Okay. So yes, when I've definitely felt like I'm out and I probably forgot to put on lotion or I don't remember if I've put on lotion and I'm, I have like Crocs or something. I know they could see the back of my heel. And if I think someone is cute behind me, God forbid, because now I'm like, did I put lotion on the back of my heel right now? He's probably my looking out. Crusty. My foot looks right now. <laughs> Everything is running through my mind. Like, don't look down, sir. Just keep looking straight. Do not look at my foot. <laughs> How you feel? You feel tight? Uh, it feels cool. You look, you look cool. Your cheeks you look are invigorated. 
Yeah. Ooh, with the glow. From Michael Myers to mm -hmm. Harris Nicole. Go ahead. Yay. <laughs> Wait, man, how many how many minutes was I supposed to keep? That was over? 15 for me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I know I've been waiting until it crackles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever. I've been doing shit, I'll be like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm take this off. I know, and your kid comes into the room like, what the heck is on your face? <laughs> I like your purple eye patches, though. Let me see what I Yes, get. thank you. They are skin generation, generation skin. Where do you get that? I got it from, um, I know they have them in Ulta. I got them from, what is the, uh, Ipsy at one point. And they look like they're from Australia. Um, but they are... They have the sign that they don't test on animals. Oh, nice. And um, so that's cool. They're like little gel things. They're good for, yeah, lifting and hydrating and lightening. They're lightening ones. Mm -hmm. So I like it. I like the little spatula spoon that it comes with. Yeah. Um, oops, I just dropped it. But now I got to wash it. But that's what kind of keeps the germs away. How do y'all apply oil, face oil? Like, I just do it on the tips of my fingers. Like, doot, doot, doot. Yeah. You can't put it in the middle because it sucks it all up. All right. Keep it on the still. Keep it light. Yes. Grace, come back so we could go into trivia. She got to wash her. Uh... Oh, yeah. I bought this little thing here so I could. Oh, I was supposed to put this on my head beforehand. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> No, because then it's gonna. Mm, no, it's not gonna work. It's gonna crazy. rub off all the stuff I have on my face. I was looking crazy. I could take this off. Yes, welcome back. There you go. All right, and we are gonna go into Sunday's trivia now that you're back. How do you feel though before we get into that? My face feels fresh. And uh, it feels, it feels hydrated. Actually, it feels like it feels like soft. Like my face feels. Oh, good. I was gonna ask you if you feel stiff because you made a funny face. Like it's bounce. It it says bright and bouncy, and I was like, yeah, it does feel like. You know, it gives it collagen. You know, so I feel. You know, bouncy. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Okay, we're gonna go into. I have to wipe off this thing. I could have left it. It says you could leave it overnight. Oh, nice. So oh. I'm gonna wipe it off real quick. Um, I was looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> I was looking like I rubbed something else on my face. Hello. Welcome to Sunday's Trivia. Since we're doing some self-care Sunday, we are going to go ahead and uh, feed our minds with a little trivia. We're going to go around and each person is going to select um, the, we're going to start off with 100. So each person will select their uh, column of, of 100, whether it's A, D, or W. Then we'll move on to 200 and then we'll move on to 400. So we're going to go in order just so that we give everybody a chance to get their score up and you have a chance to win. What you guys ready? What does the W stand for? All deaf women. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. Where's the sign? Where's the sirens? <laughs> Wait, not yet. All deaf women and we will start with Grace. So go ahead, Grace, since you love trivia. All right. I want the D for I, I knew it. I, <laughs> I want the D for 100 with the hand wave and everything. <laughs> I love that. What does the French word college mean in English? Collage. Sorry, collage. Whoops, sorry. My bad. I got it. Hold on. <laughs> no, yeah. What does the French word collage mean in English? A, to cut. B, 
B to staple, C to sculpt, or D to glue? Ooh. Okay, so I think it's either B or D. Um, I think a collage, you're putting things together, right? Mm -hmm. The sculpt, huh? I think the sculpt is also still meaning you're taking something away. So I'm just going to go with D. D. She's going with the D again with 10 seconds. You got to go with the D. All right, let's see. Oh. And the Yay. D, nice. steered you in the right direction. Yes. So, wow. <laughs> collage. Can you say that in French? Collage. 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 Why we gotta like? You gotta put the fingers. In. Collage. <laughs> you gotta put the fingers together. Yes. I love that for 100 points. And um, who is next? Paris, you ready? Nicole. The W, because I'm from the W. Oh, and I love that. The W West Side. Right? <laughs> <laughs> 100 points. Let's pull up the question. What is the fastest growing plant in the world? A, algae. B, bamboo. C, ivy. Or D, hemp. Okay, so I know for a fact it's not bamboo. Wait. Yeah, I feel like um, I learned that the bamboo takes the longest to sprout. Oh, wait. Is this a trick question? Because I feel like I heard it takes the longest to sprout, but it's just the fastest growing plant in the world. But I heard that it grows fast once it does sprout. Okay, hemp, ivy, or algae. Damn, this is hard. See, I'm. Oh, that was time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can go ahead. Let's, what do you choose? <laughs> I'll go with A. A, algae, the fastest growing plant. It is bamboo. It is bamboo. Along with uh, bamboo is also hemp. So technically, that actually would have been both. But yeah, okay. bamboo, you should have stayed with your first. It was a trick question because it's the slowest to sprout, but the fastest. So I was almost there. Huh. I was almost there. Whatever. It's okay. Bamboo. You can teach us. I'm still happy with my, my analyzation of the question. Yeah, because you knew it. But I guess that's just a reminder, you know, go with your gut. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I know bamboo season this year. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. John A, you ready for your A100? Yeah. Do it. Yay. Okay, let's do it. What were the first sewing needles? A, copper, B, tin, C, animal bones, or D, stone? Mm. <laughs> I feel like it's either C or D. Yeah. Why? Um, just because it says the first. Okay. So I feel like back then it was just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. so whatever. Grabbing up animals yeah. and making and sewing so, needles. Uh, it could have been an animal bone. They probably like drilled a hole in it. Through the wishbone? Because it's like, you know, kind of long already, like mm. a needle. Look, okay. And then they probably just drilled a hole in it. Okay. Time. What do you think? They shaved it down. Um, C, animal bones. C, animal bones. Yay! Yay! That's what I was visualizing. I was like, it's in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, animal bones. So the first sewing needles were animal mm -hmm. bones. I don't put it past anyone. Yep. Yeah. The first condoms were animal skin. So they still do some yeah. mm. like pig skin or something. Mm-hmm. I went to the um sex museum in New York. Oh cool. yeah. And that they have it. They have all the weird the whole history timeline of condoms. That's crazy. Wow. And it's crazy some of the things that people were putting in their bodies and on their 
Girl. Schlongs. Mm-hmm. My first boyfriend decided that cucumber lemon was a good lube. Cucumber, cucumber lemon. Cucumber lemon. I mean, sorry, cucumber melon lotion from Bath and Body Works. Oh wow. Uh, oh. My, poor, my poor cooter. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Grace, are you going with the D again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna shift it up. Let's go for the A. Hey, I love that. We're gonna go for the A two hundred. She's not going for the D this time. I, I feel <laughs> yeah, you. After that. After the cucumber melon incident, yeah. Switch it up. He was so he was so like confident, like yeah, that you know people use that. Yeah. You no, know. now you know. Yeah. What was? Oh, sorry. What's the shallowest ocean in the world? A. Indian Ocean. B. Arctic Ocean. C. Atlantic Ocean. Or D. Southern Ocean. The shallowest. Oh. Okay, the southern, that's not even an ocean, southern. Let's say, I actually would say maybe the Arctic, because I feel like the Indian has, like, this deep, like, part of it. Damn, I wish I had my globe in here. Oh, you wish you could cheat within the next few seconds. Come on. <laughs> it's the Arctic. Let's do the Arctic Ocean. Arctic Ocean for, for, for 200. Arctic <laughs> Ocean. That's B. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Arctic Ocean. It's wow. in the top of the world. Oh, okay, it's the smallest, so that's why it's the shallowest. Yeah, me neither. I'm not doing geography. Definitely not me. Grace was like, I wish I had my globe. <laughs> yeah, that shit by her bed. Like <laughs> that's good though. I love that for 200 points. Um, let's see. Paris. I'm gonna go with D for two. You're gonna go with D for 200. Get that D. D 200. Let's get the D. Which planet has the longest day? A, Earth, B, Mercury, C, <laughs> Venus, or D, Pluto? Okay. So I'm just going to mark out the obvious. Well, Earth can't have the longest day out of all of the planets. I feel like we turn so fast. And it's not even the full 24 hours for a day. Oh, you mean like a day like? Daytime or whatever. <laughs> Which planet has the longest day? I think, yeah, daytime day. And just because Mercury being retrograde, I don't know. I'm going to just say Mercury. <laughs> be Mercury because they be uh, in a retrograde. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what is it? Venus. Did anybody know the answer to that? I knew no. if you think about where the position of every planet is around the sun, how long it takes to go around the sun. So Earth, so it's sun and then Mercury, Venus. Mm. But v Venus has a longer day because they're closer. They're closer to the sun. That makes sense. Mm. Because they're 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 closer to the sun. So right, that's why they're so bright. I don't know. That's that was my thought. It completes rotation every 243 Earth days. Whoa. Its days last longer than its orbit. It orbits the sun every 224. Oh, so, Venus. Venus. That was a hard one. Yeah. I got, I got the two hardest questions. <laughs> no, I think the ocean one was hard. That's right. She just knew it. Yeah. John A. John A with the W. Okay. Yes, okay. W for 200. What was Bugs Bunny's original name? What was Bugs Bunny's original name? A, Bob the Bunny. B, Happy Rabbit. C, Trickster. Or D, Harry Hare. And I didn't even know he had a different name. Me either. <laughs> um... Harley wants to say C trickster. Cause why? Cause it's cereal? Cause he'd be like, 
that's all folks like mm. like you know what i mean like i'm done playing games <laughs> i'm ready to <laughs> you know, it was on looney tunes you know what i mean Dark, ha, ha, funny crack them up. um bob the bunny just sounds too regular Happy bob rapper. the bunny yeah sounds like yogurt or fruit snacks hairy hair could be that it's either c or d um I'm, I don't know, but I'm gonna go with my first mind, Trickster. Trickster, C Trickster. Uh, well, it was Happy Rabbit. Ha Happy yeah. Rabbit. I'm glad they changed his name. Yeah, yeah. I like Happy Rabbit. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Happy Rabbit. Harry Hair sounds like Harry Potter. He sounds Harry British. Sounds like Disney with Mickey Mouse. Mm, okay, okay. Mine, I don't know. <laughs> Happy Rabbit. Uh, let's see when they change the name. Immediately. Immediately. He was created in the 1930s. In the late 1930s. Yeah, I don't know when the name was changed, but yeah. He appeared as Happy Rabbit. Mm -hmm. It was only four cartoon show shorts before they changed his name. Mm -hmm. So it was very quickly. They were like, yo, this is not working. <laughs> Call him Bugs Bunny because he bugs the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. ah, right. I don't know. Let's go. Um, We're going to switch it up, Jenna. I feel like you've been going last. Do you want to go one more time? I'm going to make you go first now. Okay. Do you um, want to go? What are you picking? Yeah, I'll, go. I'll do um A400. Oh, we're going for the A. I thought you was going to go for the D. I mean, I'm going by Grace's story. No, <laughs> no one wants the D no more. That's what I was giving us you for. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Paris is next with the D. Um, Johnny, though. <laughs> Which Italian town is the setting for Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Oh man, I want this one. Damn. A. Luca. B. I know, right? Genoa. C. Bologna. Nah, Bologna. And D. Verona. D. Verona? And why is that? Because. <laughs> Paris is having a meltdown. <laughs> because it's not it's not Genoa Salami. Why? Right. I mean, because I feel like they're trying to throw me off like Genoa alone. <laughs> like let's just keep putting cold cuts next to each other, throw her off. Like right. that's what I feel like they're trying to do. Mm. Um Verona just sounds it just sounds realistic to me for some reason. Sounds Italian. It just sounds like a place, like where a setting for Romeo and Juliet would be. It sounds like in the cold nights of Verona, like Ooh. a Genoa night don't sound like Shakespeare. And a Bologna night, no. A Luca right. night, <laughs> Verona night. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. right. Verona, D. We're going with the D. Let's see what it does for you. Oh, and Verona was correct. <laughs> yes, Verona. That was where they set it up. Romeo and Juliet. That's what's up. That was their town setting. We're going to bring it back, Paris. All right. You have a D or W. I'll go with D. D. We're going to do the D for Honey. What was the name of the first electronic computer? <laughs> A, Dave. B, oh, perfect timing. B, PCO. C, Harvard Mark One. Or D, Inayak. All right, well, I have no idea. So, B. <laughs> <laughs> BPCO. Why? Because the fucking thing just dinged when you were saying that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> and this is it. And this is it. All right. PCO, the B. 
Let's see, we got three mm. seconds. Oh. oh, what was it? Inayak. 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 What? Well, I know that one. Inayak. Inayak. That was the first computer, the first programmable uh, integrator, electronic numer numerical integrator and computer. Okay. It's the things that they were standing at when they're doing um, the old school operator and um, they got the whole wall. That's uh, what it looks like. Uh, hmm. It was completed in 1945. All right. All right. Well, we are back. Let's go, Grace. You have one more question. Oh, Grace. Double two, four hundred. Grace, we're going to put it out. <laughs> what volcano on Mars is nearly the size of Arizona? A. Olympus Monas, Olympus Mons. B. Alba pa Patera, Alba Patera. C. Oh God, Elysium Mons or D. Albor Tholus. Oh God. Okay, let's. I'm trying to break it down just by the word that they use. Like, I didn't know there was a volcano on Mars. I know. Well, that makes sense. I mean, I could. Oh, I, How does so that make sense? Volcanoes, right? I'm thinking. Uh, okay, I'm thinking these. The first one that stood out was Elysium Mons mm. or Olympus Mons. Mm. Alborthos. I don't even know what that means. A or C. A or C. A or C. A or C. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> channeled her inner crib. I don't know what that was. What are you going with? <laughs> see? <laughs> I see. Elysium Mons. Uh, and what was it? Oh, you should have went with your first cut. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Which is kind of like a tr almost traditional, <laughs> I feel like, volcano name. Olympus. Olympus. Sound, yeah. Or a mountain. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Mm hmm and the score for today since we're done here yay we have <laughs> grace with 300 points Jane is the winner today with 500 points <laughs> and paris you already got to you for playing no, no i'm not I'm gonna, I'm gonna say your name right <laughs> no. yeah. says, thank you for playing <laughs> she said she said that grace is uh, good at at trivia i think she kind of knew but yeah. it was still fun Janae, how does it feel 500 points you know this is it's rare for this is i don't really be winning trivia so this is you know i'm gonna soak it in i'm probably gonna go pop a bottle and get a section tonight in the club if you <laughs> enjoy it um, we're going hard tonight. It's a celebration, you know? Yeah. <laughs> going up on a, on a Sunday. <laughs> I love that. But thank you guys for joining us. John A, you will win a, a prize. So you have to let us know your size and where okay. to ship that to. Okay. Um, but yes, thank you guys for checking out Sundays. Um, I appreciate my guests for joining us today. We will go around before we get out of here, let them know where to follow, um, where to support. And again, this is January 8th. So happy new year to everybody watching. Um, if you have anything coming out around that time, now's your chance. We're going to go with the winner, John A. All right, everybody, keep up with me on the gram at John A. The Queen, uh, John A. Thompson on all other platforms. Love if you follow me on YouTube, all that jazz. And just stay tuned. It's going to be a dope year. Yes, it is. Hello, 2023. Grace. Hey, what's up? I am Grace Aubrey with no E, A-U-B-R-Y. You can find me on Instagram at God's Grace Aubrey. Um, we are working on a movie right now and a commercial, so that should be out in 2023. Yes. Um, this book in season, baby, is winning season. We are on a winning streak, and we're going to keep on winning. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Paris. Follow me at the Paris underscore Nicole. And I think, what is this, the eighth? 
on the 13th, House Party will be in theaters. So, Woo-hoo! yes. Woo! Ba, 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 ba. Love that. Yeah, check it out. Go support Black Woo! Bill in yes. the theater. So Classic. Making them. Yeah. Yes, I love that. Well, thank you again. I'm Tokahannes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Thank you for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye.